Good afternoon, Heritage. I'm Xavier. I'm Malik. I'm Omar. I'm the other Malik. <laughs> and this year announced for Wednesday, February 23rd, 2011. CVCC Engineering Career oh. Fair. Central Virginia Community College, CVCC, will host an engineering fair on Tuesday, March 1st, sponsored by CVCC, the National Science Foundation and the University of Virginia Engineering Department. This is a free networking for engineers, students in engineering or engineering technology, to prospective engineering students to meet with local high technology employers to learn about the companies and explore potential career community opportunities and internships. The program includes a trade show format for door prizes and interacting with representatives from local companies and colleges and universities, engineering facilities, engineering faculty. Local employers from a pool including Ariba, NP, Georgia Pacific, Parker, Nanafin, and others will be offering practice interviews. The career fair will be held on CVCC main campus in Lynchburg and Merritt Hall, room 5122 from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. For further information, contact CVCC at 434-832-7608. All AP students, AP exams, fees are due this Friday, February 25th. If you do not start the payment plan in January, then you must pay for all your AP exams in full. If your payment is not received by this Friday, then a late fee of $20 will be added to each unpaid exam. Students on a payment plan must submit their second payment installment by this Friday as well. Congratulations to the boys track team for placing a close second at the regional track meet at Liberty University last Saturday. The following individuals placed at the meet. Xavier Calloway was the regional champion in the triple jump, fifth in the long jump, third in the mile relay. Wesley Butler was second in the pole vault. Teron Perry, fifth in shot put. Antonio Thomas, third in the 300 meter run, third in the 500 meter run, third in the mile relay. Derek Sales was third in the mile relay. Anthony was Howard was third in the mile relay. James Dawsey was third in the 800 meter relay. Kevin Chapman was third in the 800 meter relay. Deshaun Wooten was also third in the 800 meter relay. And Azariah Cox was third in the 800 meter relay. Xavier Waller was second in high jump, second in triple jump, second in the 55 meter hurdles, third in long jump. Xavier Waller was selected as the region three male athlete of the year. The girls team placed third at the regional track meet. The following individuals placed for the girls. Lily Reed was second in shot put. Katie Wilson fourth in the 1600 meter run. Third in the mile relay. Jamie Long was sixth in the 300 meter run. Second in the 800 meter relay. Third in the mile relay. Kelsey Rourke was fifth in pole vault. Third in long jump. Jasmine Sheffield was second in triple jump, fourth in long jump, third in the 300 meter run, second in the 800 meter relay, third in the mile relay. Kim Thomas was second in the 800 meter relay. Martina Burford was second in the 800 meter relay. Nikki Milner was third in the mile relay. All of these individuals will participate in the state track meet this weekend at Liberty University. Lost and found, if you have lost any items this year, Please check the lost and found in the clinic for these items. Any items that are not claimed by today will be donated to Goodwill. Brotherhood Month Contest. In observance of Brotherhood Month, we will be having a contest for any students to submit, display poems, essays, or anything else. The prize will be given to the best entry. Projects <laughs> are to be turned into Mr. Cam, room 463. Warnings will be announced Friday, March the 4th. Math word of the week, the fraction, a number that represents part of a whole or part of a group, example one half. March 18th, talent show. You gotta be there. You gotta be at the talent show, March 18th, 7 p.m. Ghostbusters. You know, you know what we do, Ghostbusters. You know, you got the paper chases. Me and Omar and Chantel, we rapping, so you gotta be there. If we don't give you a good act, I'll give you your money back. It's guaranteed to be a good talent show. Money back. And I guarantee <laughs> your boy Malik going Dougie. Nah. I got your boy Dougie in all state. He going Dougie. No. So we're going to get it done. Everybody come to the talent show. Show y'all what talent y'all haven't seen at the school yet. We Just in there. That. Let's get it. Activity buses come today. Two. One of them at 530 and one of them at 645. Only students who are staying after school with an official sponsor activity may ride the activity bus. And have a great day.
<laughs> what? <laughs> and I try to say it, man. Oh, number one, big, big orange, orange country. country. Yeah, man, yeah. Come with me, and you will see a magical place that you can be. You can participate in all our games. And have some fun if you know what I mean. I don't know your name, but I will get to know it because I will be in the talent show and I will show it. I got the beat and I got the flow. And for all you the people that don't know, now you know. All right, it. Welcome to Parnia Pick Me Up. How can I help you? Can I get some hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? We sell quality coffee products every day. We have hot coffee, hot cocoa, hot tea, and iced coffee. Don't forget to ask about our flavored coffee. It changes every day. We use Nestle's hot chocolate. Every cup is made to order, so it's always hot and fresh. s and Coffee is our supplier. It is very high quality and we offer a different flavor along with our regular coffee every day. Every day we input our sales and inventory into an Excel spreadsheet. This helps us to keep think track of our cash and see if Anything is missing. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. It's coming. Oh, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Beginning February 25th at Heritage High School's Pioneer Theater. Some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Something for the whole family. Oh, what's the matter? Somebody pulled my tail. Oh, you did it yourself. The beloved classic, The Wizard of Oz. Now I know I have a heart, because it's breaking. Performances are February 25th, 26th, March 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 7 p.m., February 27th at 2 p.m., and children's matinees on February 26th and March 5th at 10 a.m. Tickets are $8 for children, students, and senior citizens for all 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. shows, $10 for adults for all 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. shows, and $5 for all tickets for children's matinees on February 26th and March 5th. Don't miss this timeless classic, The Wizard of Oz, at the Heritage High School Pioneer Theater. For information, call 582-1147. There really is no place like home.